Hey guys, it's my first game of Bad Wars I've never played before. Um, let's just make a defense right here. I heard that blast roof glass was pretty good. Wait, why do I only have four? I got scammed. I literally gave the shopkeeper so much iron and he only gave me four blast roof glass. All right, we're gonna have to make this hard jump. Oh, that was so close. All right, no, he's cheating. Oh my god, why am I so bad at bed words? If only there was a way I could get better. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can become a god at bed words. So you're probably watching this video if you suck. Well, don't worry, after this video you won't suck half as much anymore. Um, yeah, and if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. Okay, uh, and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so before you start anything, you want to optimize your PvP settings. Uh, on the top right, there should be a little uh, card you can click on that brings you to my how to increase your FPS video. It's a good video because I made it. So um, yeah, watch that video and increase your frames and then come back to this video. If you already optimize all your settings, then keep watching. There's more to learn. Alright, so if you're just starting out, um, you're probably gonna have to learn the universal tactic of speed bridging. So most noobs I see, they literally slow bridge like this. But you know, that's too slow, you can't be doing that. So, the better method is called speed bridging. Most of you know this already, but most of you still suck at it. Basically, you just let go of shift every time you place a block. And some people can do this so quick, that is literally faster than breezily bridging. And that's called schneller bridging. And in German, uh, schneller means uh, more quickly. And that is why it's called schneller bridging, because it's a uh, ninja bridge, but more quickly. Like some people can literally do it while closing their eyes. So you're probably gonna have to practice ninja bridging. Most, some people when they ninja click, I mean not ninja click, uh, ninja bridge, uh, they hold down the right mouse button. So people that do this are like GamerBoy80. So they basically just hold the right mouse button and they just let go shift but this is a way too slow you don't want to build this habit you'll, you'll ninja bridge but it's gonna be slow what you want to do is you basically want to press shift and right click at the same time so so you press shift and right click at the same time and you basically can uh place blocks way faster because there if you just hold down right click there's like a little delay between clicks but if you just press right click manually, then you can improve your speed by so much. Yeah, and if you're uh, a tryhard, then you can do something called uh, moonwalking. So moonwalking would look something like this. Yeah, I can't really moonwalk that well, but uh, most people don't moonwalk. Even people that know how to moonwalk, they don't really moonwalk in game. Because there's no way you can do it consistently. As some people can god bridge. I can't really god bridge, but you need to drag click. And that's like the fastest way to break your mouse, so I wouldn't recommend it. And lastly, some people breezily bridge. It's basically moonwalking, but slower. But the thing with breezily bridging is uh, people that ninja bridge can ninja bridge fast, like really well, can ninja bridge faster than breezily. So what I'm doing right now is actually faster than breezily bridging. I mean, but Reasonly Bridging is mostly for to flex on people, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Unless you're trying to show off to a friend or on YouTube, uh, I wouldn't really recommend Reasonly Bridging. It's a, very, it's a lot harder than Schneller, and it's slower as well. So like, why would you do it? What I want you noobs to do is to just ninja bridge. Just ninja bridge normally, like... 30 minutes, I don't know. 30 minutes and you'll probably be able to ninja bridge really, really well. Alright, the next thing you need to learn is you need to learn the bed defenses. So, um, yeah, if you're playing solos, uh, you can do one of three bed defenses. So, you, so on the maps that have fast iron, you can just uh, make a defense like this. And uh, yeah, you just rush quickly. On the maps of slow iron, you can make uh, one of two defenses. Okay, you can make the 30 virus defense. So the 30 virus defense is you need 16 wood, and you basically put wood like this in this order, and then over here you just place wool. But it's but another defense that I've seen ranked doubles players using is um, all right. So let's just break this real quick. An another defense that might actually be better is this butterfly looking defense. So you make it like this and you place blocks like this. It takes the same amount of resources, but you put wool like this instead. And this is like what I've seen more and more people using. I don't know why it's better, but I, a lot of the 
sweaty players do this defense, so there's definitely a reason why they do it. Alright, the next defense you can make is if you're playing in threes or fours, and they're like, we need a defender, and you're like, I'll be a defender. Well, you gotta be a good defender, so you need to make the butterfly defense. This will take 64 plus 12 iron, so 76 in total. You're gonna wanna put two blocks like this, one block right here, two blocks, uh, one block, and you wanna cover it up like that, and then you basically just wanna put blast proof glass like this. And yeah, this is a butterfly defense. And if you have 8 gold, you can put wood around this. It takes exactly 8 gold to put wood around this. It's a really smart defense. And it's really hard to break through. Because let's say we have someone with TNT. They place TNT. Boom. There's end stone here. What are they going to do now? You're going to need at least 3 pieces of TNT. If you want to break through it without breaking any uh, blast roof glass. And in 3s and 4s, we know that TNT is really expensive. So that's not happening. Alright, lastly, you gotta get good at PvP. Uh, this video is mostly about Bed Wars, so if you look in the top right, there's a card you can click on, and it'll take you to uh, my PvP tutorial. So, um, yeah, watch that, and uh, then we can actually play a perfect game of Bed Wars. Alright, so uh, first I'm gonna get some gold and iron, so then we can make that really nice defense for our bed. And we're gonna do the fancy defense. Uh, most people do the 30 virus defense, but this is better. I don't know why, but I see ranked doubles players do it, so it's probably better. And we just want to get this guy out as quick as we can. That's our main goal right now. Uh, looks like he fell, so I'm just gonna go try and get his bed quickly. Stand this way so he has, hard, he has trouble hitting me. Spam blocks, combo him, break his bed before he falls, and that's the final kill, as well as the bed break. So we're just gonna spam a lot of blocks, put the gold in the chest, we're gonna go get some diamonds, and uh, there should be about three diamonds right now. Yeah, there's three. So we're gonna buy armor and uh, minor fatigue, because those are like the best things we can buy right now. Yellow didn't kill aqua, which means I can potentially get a bed for free here because they're gonna occupy each other like look aqua is occupied right now i could probably get aqua team's bed if he doesn't die right away yeah he's just gonna take his time so i'm just gonna go get his bed quick and there should be a free bed and he's gonna respawn so i'm just gonna quickly take his gen in case i can't kill him bank it real quick and we're gonna kill him i'm probably gonna win though butterfly click I might not win actually, no, if I won. Yellow has wood, so we're gonna quickly get an axe. Store the excess in the chest. And we're gonna get yellow out as fast as we can. Jump around. Yellow's bridging up, so I'm just gonna try and block in. It didn't work. All right, we got him. Uh, so now we're just gonna go get his bed quick. Uh, we're low on health, so we're gonna retreat back to the Aqua Team's base. I'm gonna get the diamonds along the way so you can't get them. There's only two, but it's better than nothing. I'm gonna go back and uh, kill yellow team. Does he have iron armor? Nope, he, but he has an iron sword. We're gonna combo, combo, yes. So we're just gonna go back and get more diamonds. Because if you have sharpness, it's like you basically won. Oh, that's our bed. There's really nothing we can do about that though. Okay, but, uh, we're gonna try going for white team because we're ne right next to them and white team still hasn't killed pink team yet Which probably means they're either both good or both bad All right, he's gonna respawn. Uh, I think we'll be more stacked than them. So I think we can kill him right here. Yep We're way stacked more stacked, but uh, he's better. Okay, we got him Gray team looks like he's trying to third party white team has to choose a person. I'm building up. I don't want to fight you uh, he's, he wants to go up the ladders, so I'm gonna block these as well. Gray team's gonna go get his bed, uh, so it's probably... Uh, I want them to fight, so... Yep, we got him. Gray team's probably gonna be coming for us right now, so we gotta leave quick. Yeah, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Gray team's kind of good, actually. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna fight, man, come on. I'm gonna try to get above this guy, actually. Okay, this isn't working out for me. I wanna fight him fair, though. I think I might be able to win. Oh, okay, I can just run across real quick, actually. Alright, since this guy has a bed and I don't have a bed, we're gonna have to kind of play dirty, so I'm just gonna get, get more diamonds. Uh, and I should be able to get uh, Prot 2. Might be getting emeralds, though, which is not good. 
All right, now we now it's basically a war of emeralds. Whoever gets the emeralds first is basically good, probably gonna win. Hey, there there were no emeralds. Uh, looks like he beat me, so I kind of lost. Yeah, this guy Neon's going for his bed. I'm gonna have to buy a tracker. He's probably invisible right now, as we speak, which is very unsettling. Alright, he's near. He's really near. He's in... Alright, he's gonna go invisible. And we're gonna kill you. Yes, good game. And that is how you win a Bed Wars game without dying. Flawlessly. Alright, and... Uh, yeah, just send him a nice message. And that's how you win. Alright, uh, so you made it to the end of the video. You're probably a god at Bed Wars now. Um, I'll see you on the leaderboards. Uh, if this video helped you, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. We're almost to 700. The support has been amazing. You guys are amazing. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.